guys! So I thought today I'd do kind of a different look, more, um, a little bit fun. I think it's really a trend now. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by my kitty who looked like he was gonna jump. Hello. Sometimes he puts his paws up and he's like, don't kiss me, mama, don't do it. Like that. And it's like, where have those paws been? Alright. There's my littlest baby, Paris. Named after the Greek tragedy person. I'm really out of it. I always like feel like I should just restart these, but then it's like, no, I shouldn't. People might want to hear me ramble. Probably not, but I'm going to start right away now because otherwise I'd have to speak and that's not coming easily today. Um, I'm starting off with Shade Stick and Street Cool, which I just wanted to play around with a different medium and plus I, this is the first time using it. So I'm putting this on the outer corner into almost the middle of my eye, not quite. And then I'm taking it into the crease and following just my crease, winging it out ever so slightly. It's a very natural look, but I wanted, holy cow, <laughs> attack of the cats. I think that's just today's theme. Bad kitty, food kitty. Get down from there. This is my big kitty. My big brat. Achilles. My big brat Achilles. Alright. So, no more hijinks, hopefully. Highly doubtful because I have cats and they just like to fool around, especially when they know I'm filming. Now I'm going to take... This is Fresh Daisy which is a frost from MAC and I'm just gonna load it up on the brush. It's kind of a frosty off-white I would say and I'm using this because my outfit um, is striped white and yellow and then I just have shorts on but I also have bright yellow tube socks if you've seen those and, um, so I wanted to have fun, but at the same time, I didn't want something that was going to compete with all the yellow. I just kind of didn't want yellow. But then, when I thought of what I wanted to do for my lips, it was perfect. And I just kind of put this all over my lid, into the crease, over that other one, just toning them together, basically blending them together. And now I'm going to take... I already have one coat of mascara on, which is what I did before I put my lashes on. So I'm going to start on liner right away. And I'm taking Teddy Eye Coal from MAC, which is the brown one. And I'm putting that on my water lines. I'm sorry if I go out of frame for this, because it's so much easier if I do. Kitty's just up to no good today, I think. He's just stalking around looking at me like he's going to create problems. The one I don't have to worry about creating problems is over there wrestling with Paris. And that's my cat, Helen. She's the only girl. She is a super chubby baby. But she is so shy. Like, she still runs away from me, and I've had her for a while. And, like, I try to get her used to, like, people, but so far, no good. Ooh! Oh no! And she tried to make a mad dash. This is Helen. She's a chubby baby. Mm. Nope, she is angry. She's not like people. All my other kitties are just like, okay, love me. And she's like, no! <laughs> he will not get love. Alright, now I'm taking, I'm in a goofy mate mood, which is probably a good thing because I'll get it on my system maybe. Um, I'm taking Avenue Fluid Line from MAC. 
on just this is actually a paintbrush from Walmart it's just one of those angled brushes if I could find a decent one from a store or from an actual makeup company I would get it but I haven't found one I really like yet and I'm starting in the middle really because the lashes I have aren't going to they don't go all the way into the corner, so I'm not being super picky about dragging liner in there. I will a bit just to like keep it cohesive with the rest of the look. But it doesn't have to be thick, which is very nice, because I wanted a more natural look. Good. Hopefully you could see that. I sometimes put it in the middle of my mirror, kind of up in front of my face, and then you guys can't see anything, which is ridiculously pointless to the process, but now I'm just taking these lashes. They're little ones from Walmart. Just basic. These are super natural because I can't find my Demi Wispies. I know I threw away one pair, but I thought I had another pair left yet. And those are awesome. They go all over my lashes. Because all the other ones I could find are dramatic. Like super dramatic ones have... These ones have rhinestones in them. You can see that. So, and the other ones are basically the same ones, but without rhinestones. So, I wanted something more natural. And these add just a little bit. Luckily, I can curl these, which helps. Because it makes them look very nice and more flared. So I'm just waiting for the glue to dry enough that it's tacky. And now I'm going to put this over by my lashes, following my top lash line. As much as possible. I always screw up in that inner corner. Well, as long as it's fixable. Okay, so that's that, and while that dries on there, I'm going to take and do cheeks and lips. So for, well, maybe I'll just do cheeks and then go back to lips at the end. This one I went a little further in with my um, shade stick, I think, or at least darker, which is fine um, if you end up doing that because it's not a super precise art. I wasn't too worried about being very precise. Just take some of that um, Fresh Daisy and pop it back over on it. Just making sure you got it on evenly both spots. I love this eye. The other one, of course, is bothering me. I think everybody gets like that sometimes, where it's like all of a sudden you just feel like nothing is looking right. And I'm just going to take my Paradise Blush cheek powder from Surf Baby and I'm taking by the orange part not I use the flower actually for eyeshadow a lot so I try to preserve that area because I want to keep it as an eyeshadow <laughs> and I'm just putting this on my cheeks and I kind of kept with a citrusy look because I'm wearing a lot of yellow and this is an orange and then my lips are going to be staying kind of in the fruity citrus arena. <laughs> now 